Okay, so it's the time you guys all love once again. It's the Home Network Upgrade 2023. And this time, it's not the biggest, but it is a really big impact. We're going to be moving to a mesh network system. Yet again, the home network is in shambles and this time there's no one to blame but myself. <laughs> things stopped working, things just gave up and I just never got around to fixing it. We just made do, made sure there was sufficient coverage and we got around to doing it. From the condition of the cables, you can see things were added, things were taken away and <laughs> everything is just all over the place. So this time, Instead of me just plugging and hoping, I decided to do it properly with the design and everything as a qualified network technician. So why are we moving to mesh? Mesh is easy to manage and actually easy to install. And for us, because we have a rather large home, the mesh makes more sense having more nodes so that we have better coverage rather than running cables and creating access points out of old routers and installing range extenders. The mesh just makes so much more sense and obviously the fact of us managing it through an app or something like that. So let's quickly look at some of the speed tests we were getting around our home before we've done this changeover. So this is the Eagle Pro AI AX1500 mesh system. It's a M15 by D-Link and this is a Wi-Fi 6 mesh system, right? This three pack can cover up to a 500 square meter home, right? And some of the things with this kit, it's easily optimizable through the Eagle Pro AI engine. Um, the improvement of the mesh nodes, so the mesh nodes all talk to each other and they can optimize their own network coverage so that there's decent coverage throughout your home. Um, <clears throat> obviously this is expandable. We can add as many nodes as we'd like. Establish a better coverage throughout our, our home, basically. So it's not me talking too much. Let's go ahead and open this up. So these devices are capable of carrying up to 1200 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz and 300 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz. So on each of the routers we have one gigabit internet port, one gigabit ethernet port, a 12 volt adapter and a WPS button. So this supports WPA, WPA2 and the latest WPA3 Wi-Fi security. So my favorite part about these mesh nodes is that they are voice control compatible with the Google Assistant as well as Amazon Alexa, which means we can control both our TVs and any other devices that we now bring in. So let's go ahead and start with the upgrade. Right, so I've needed it up a little bit here and before I talk about what we've done, I think let's leave this and let's go ahead and set up the mesh network, the m 15 So I've decided against setting it up here because if you watched my recent video where I explained where is the best places or how to come about the best places to install your access point. This isn't the uh, the best place, but because we had to place the router here because this is where the internet was coming in, it was kind of a jam for us. But now that we have the mesh system, 
I can decide where I want the rooters placed. So I'm going to be going ahead and switching this um, SSIDs off on the router, meaning that it's not going to broadcast any signal anymore. And then everyone's going to be connecting via the mesh nodes. And the first mesh node, I'm going to set it up in our lounge because it's central as well as it's a place where everyone is normally. So let's go. Okay, so on the front here in the lounge, um, the last time we were here, we actually set up a switch and everything. The switch kind of got disconnected and I just brought a range extender and put it here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take out this range extender and I think for the time being, we're also going to get rid of the switch. All right. This cable that we have here is the one that's connected upstairs and what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect up the mesh node and this cable is now going to connect to the internet port of the switch. Meaning that this now is going to be the primary mesh node for the entire mesh system in our home. Right, so I'm going to plug in the power here. Wait for it to power on and then we're going to configure it. Okay, so now I've downloaded the Eagle Pro AI app onto my phone. And what I'm going to do now, there's a Wi-Fi that's broadcasted from the mesh node. I'm going to connect to that Wi-Fi. I have on my other phone the password. Right, connected here. Right, so now that I've installed the Eagle Pro AI app, I've come in and I'm going to click add a new device. And I'm going to scan the underneath of the router. How would you like to set up my network? I'm going to set it up as range extenders. Next. Connect to your home network. Next. Power off your modem. Okay, so we need to go and power off the router. So now it says connect to your modem. Plug one end of the ethernet cable into the internet port of the router. I'll click next. Power on the router. Power on. Uh, I haven't done this in the best uh, sort of order, but when I connected to the mesh node, uh, network immediately, it was working. So let's hope and see. Okay, so now it's saying we're detecting your internet setup. Please wait. Now let's see. All right, create a network name. We're going to call this Silver Fox. Give the device a name like living room. I'm going to say lounge. So now let's go ahead and set up the other device. So our second mesh node, we're going to be setting up in our second lounge because obviously we've been struggling with connectivity on this side of the house and we just want something on this side that will cover this side as well as the backyard. So this one, because it's just a node, all you have to do is lay it down, plug it in. Right, so now you can see the LED has gone white, meaning that it's connected to our existing network. So the final mesh node we're going to set up here in my room, and not just because I'm the person setting it up, because my room now is strategically placed so that we get sufficient coverage between all the bedrooms, as well as coverage in the out or the backyard and outbuilding a little more coverage to the old studio which we unfortunately don't use anymore or can't use anymore would be a better statement but anyway this is set up just like what we did downstairs we're going to do the same thing add a device and everything's 100 okay so what is this network structure that we're talking about so the network structure we're talking about Basically, you see this more in corporate environments and bigger environments, but because of some silly thing that I did when we built our previous home network, I decided to go by the book and I've layered it as such so that there's no cross communication and there's no problems within the network like slow connectivity or slow transfer speeds. So what does our network layout look like? So at the top for level one, you can see that is our ISP and that's where our internet will come in from our internet service provider, shout out to Axis. 
and it comes in passes through the ONT and then that's where the layer 1 actually kind of finishes then for layer 2 we have the gateway so gateway is basically the central point which connects you out to the internet and from the gateway perspective we have our D-Link DIR825 router which is the gateway that's the main entrance and exit to the internet so after the basically gateway then we have the level 3 so level 3 is your core that is the core of your network that is where all the traffic is basically managed and moved so previously what I used to do we used to have the main switch which was supposedly the core and then I used to plug things like our NAS and stuff when we we're short of ports into the back of the router what I actually did by doing that I moved the core from being in that switch back to the router and by doing that it kind of added another jump for the traffic to travel if it were going to be traveling so after the core then we have access so access is obviously our devices connecting into the core that's a part of the network traffic so some of the devices that we have a part of the network traffic is our NAS, is the server, is obviously the mesh client, uh, the, the mesh nodes um, and any switches that we have connecting back to the core like the one here in my room. And then finally at layer 5 we have devices. So devices are our end clients, all our wireless clients like our phones, our laptops over Wi-Fi, the TVs. And basically everything that's going to connect wired and even wireless because some of our wireless clients will connect back to that level 4 access switches and then connect to the core and out to the internet or whatever. Right, so that's basically the structure of our network, the proper main structure. So before we actually go ahead and conclude and do the speed test, something I'd like to mention is that you see, although this looks complex, it's not actually complex. Most of our routers that we buy off the shelf from Macro or wherever, those routers are built in with all of those layers and just do everything as an all-in-one package. You have your Ethernet that, or your, like your old school modems, the telephone used to come in, the ISP had a little section there, and then the routing was done in there. Then we had the switches, the four parts at the back of the router that would act as our core and then access, same thing, uh, through that. Our, our access was more especially the Wi-Fi that was coming out of the router and then the end clients were still the USB, uh, the, the phones. So although your router can do it everything in one, for me it's better to break it up because we have a little bit of a complex network we have so much of things attached here and it's basically easier for me to diagnose when there is problems and i can now manage what's going on and i can also speed up different sections of the network but you don't have to be as complex as me if you're setting up your home network you can just as well throw down a router throw down the mesh nodes and i mean even the brand new mesh nodes that we we purchased the m15 those can act as everything because you can pass your internet coming from your ISP straight into the mesh, a single mesh node, which will act as your primary router for switching and everything. So it tells you, you know what, it, home networking is getting easier and easier. But I think I've been talking for too long. Let's go ahead and check out some of the speed tests from around the house and then we'll close this up. So as you guys can see, I mean, straight from the speed test, you can clearly see how this mesh has drastically improved the coverage across our entire home just by the addition of these three nodes. And these three nodes not only cover sufficiently within our home, but most of the common areas, it allows sufficient coverage even when outside in and around the house. But anyway, that's a story for another day. Yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video just as much as I have. 
putting this to this home network upgrade together. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did. If you have any questions regarding the D-Link M15s, leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll be there to chat with you. Guys, thanks for watching. My name is Prashant and I'll see you next year for the home network upgrade 2024.